that you were trying to imply I'm having an affair at work with a married man. I didn't mean to ruin your day. Um, don't do that. Like, you're weird. So now she's mad at me. So two days later, she sends an email to that same boss. And she was like, you know what? I don't take back what I say. I did have con I did have genuine concerns. And I'm not the only person that had these concerns. So obviously my, you know, the lady on top, she didn't even respond to that email. She told me about it. It's actually the funny part. She's the one who told me. She's like, yeah, I received an email, which was really funny. It was basically her, like, taking back her apology. She never apologized to me or the guy, which I don't care. She doesn't seem like the person that's bright enough to do that. But she kept digging a deeper and deeper hole because um, she was actually looking to be promoted. She lost that promotion. Because obviously, if you are someone in that type of position, you shouldn't be starting shit with the colleagues. So she lost her promotion. So now she's pissed. And so then after that, she put in her two week notice and she's leaving. And I was like, oh my God, this is so great. Like this, it just keep, and she has to finish the project before she leaves. So I don't have to do a project. I don't have to ever see her again. I'm just, it's just so crazy. And it's also like, obviously she didn't have any actual evidence. It was just like her just making things up and saying weird shit, bringing his wife involved into it. So yeah, um, yeah. Then, let's see how they come take a hick. She will I'm about to promote. She with all? Yeah, so I'm about to promote. Okay, I'm about to promote Hig. Talking out of his ass. That's what he's doing. Anyways, I hope, yeah, I hope she learned her lesson too. You freaking weird bitch. Mm -hmm. I work in a lab, a histology lab. But it worked out at the end. Um, yeah, and that's the whole thing. If you are a good person, you don't have to worry about anything. And like, you know, she would have been fine. She would have had her job. She would have had her promotion and she would have lived happily ever after, but she was weird. And then her retracting her apology is actually what made her permanently lose any chances of getting promoted when she was like, actually, I did have real concerns. They were like, okay, she's clearly stirring things up on purpose. Um, and also the other weird thing about it is like I said, she works from six uh, sorry, from 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. I never see her. So there's no way she would, like, let's just say I had an, uh, like a non-professional relationship, unprofessional relationship. She wouldn't have known. Like, I don't see her. So that's what was so funny. Like, it was really obvious. She was just talking shit to talk shit. But like, don't turn it into rumor. You're gonna get in trouble for that. Don't be weird. But yeah. Anyways, I was going to say something else, but I won't add it in there. I'll be a good person. I'm going to be kind. <sighs> I'm telling you guys, like, it's been so hard. Any tips on journaling? Honestly, it's so nice. Um, like, just get in the habit. Even if you want to, if you write a damn paragraph, write a paragraph. And it doesn't always have to be, like, writing. Shoot, one day I like to draw. Sometimes I like to make a list. Um, sometimes, like, you mean, like, a list of goals just like random things journaling literally it's like your journal you can do whatever you want with it so if you're not in the mood to write paragraphs you don't have to write paragraphs you know you can draw in it you can do that I always like to write the date and the time because sometimes I like to see how my mind is different throughout the day you know so there is a list list <laughs> I'm always paranoid someone is gonna read it someone is gonna read it dude i grew up with brothers they were always trying to read my journal like what the hell's up with that it's so rude i get your what are you talking about saying like you're that's it let me see, actually, I'm just going to mute you because you're just talking too much and you shouldn't have rights. I'm a feminist. You shouldn't have rights. Shut up. A male janitor was hating on me. Be like, you missed a spot, sir. Okay, this is what happens when we don't focus. All right. Uh, do you ever think if you die and then someone has access to those journals? Um, 
Well, I don't know what the hell's going on in your lives, but like nothing in there is going to be that detrimental. Okay. So, yeah. You know what I mean? It'll just be like depressing sometimes. Like, God damn. That's the worst thing they'll find. Be like, damn, she's been depressed. Um, yeah. I'm not from Toronto. I'm not. Can you read us a page? Y'all need to learn to mind your own business. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I always said, I mean, it's, you know, it's a habit. I'll just tell my brothers, like, if you guys really want to read it, you can read it. But I would suggest you burning it. That's what I would tell them. <sighs> um, do you believe in manifesting? I do. I do. I've never been seen on. I really want to. Do you ghost people? I do. Some of you guys do too much. Oh my God, are you pregnant? No, I'm not. I'm not. How do you feel about Dubai? Um, I don't know if I would like the weather. Anyways, when I get bloated sometimes, I like to look at the mirror and pretend I'm pregnant. Do you guys do that too? I don't know. Like, I'll just be at the mirror and I'll be like this. I'll be like... Manifesting. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> manifesting. And then I just like fall on some stairs like... I'm just kidding. Um, are we going to tie tea? That Bella C. That's why I swear. I actually like it. Like, that's the way. If you're ever feeling bloated, and you know how, like, when you get bloated, you're like, ew, I feel ugly. When you start role-playing, you're pregnant. I don't know why, but then I'm like, oh, wait, this is cute. It's like a baby bump, and it's all about perspective. It really is. Because then I feel better. I'm like, preview. You know what I mean? Six months preview. Stop messing with me, uh, Alina. Like, don't do that. Do you remember when you would say you wanted three kids back to back before 30? Um, I still want to have kids back to back, just two, not three, though. Then you realize it's all in your head. I know. I met a guy and he wants me to send him pics of myself to show his mom. What should I wear? 